Today we are starting in Phuket, Thailand, which is in the south, and we are working our way to the Phi Islands across to Krabi. And a bunch of fun experiences in this video where I dive for the first time and love it so much I end up getting my certification. I have a photo shoot with a photographer from Russia and it was so much fun. And ups and downs of solo traveling where sometimes you feel lonely and other times you meet wonderful people. Here. I really did not know what to expect once I went underwater. This was kind of the discover diving. I wasn't sure at this point if I wanted to get the certification, but my instructor Meta was so, so patient and amazing. I ended up having the most wonderful experience. One specific moment, I was completely surrounded by schools of fish on all sides, and it was probably one of the best moments of my life. July 1st, 2022. Leaving Krabi tomorrow morning after one week as a certified scuba diver. Thanks to Meta, my instructor from Norway, going past my fears of fish and unknown, the unknown was so challenging and yet rewarding. Hello everyone, it is the end of my time at Krabi. I finished with a diving certificate and then one of my friends from the hostel, Robert. We're headed to Chiang Mai on the easiest check-in we've ever had. <laughs> Um, it's only like a two one hour flight and spontaneously we decided to go to Pape meditation retreat which is um, where we're going to meditate and just live with monks for three mm -hmm. days um, it's a place where a lot of people go to when they go to Chiang Mai and it's exciting a lot of some of our friends have gone and they've had wonderful experiences um, Basically, you just learn how to meditate and you just are in peace and quiet nature. And yeah, I'm really excited. I'll be vlogging it. Let's see how it goes.
meditation retreat and it's like a movie it feels really interesting i learn how to meditate and it is free it is donation based 500 baht a day i'm gonna show you the outside of the cabin this was a ceremony where it was very interesting to be a part of. These two boys are kind of being initiated into following the life of a monk. And we all went around and kind of cut a piece of their hair. And then every day we would wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning, do our meditation, and then eat breakfast, do meditation again, eat lunch, and you have to stop eating after 11, which was a new experience and the rest of the time we would spend kind of just really being with nature and here are little snippets of the beautiful surroundings that we were able to be in hello everyone so it is it's been three days at Pape meditation retreat and it's just been days full of healthy food um really slow long hours to just do nothing and it's been amazing it's been wonderful i'm sitting here on this bench and i came to the realization that i am at the almost at the end of my it'll be four months um journey from vietnam to singapore malaysia Thailand and then in a few days I'll be off to Bali which is my last stop before I head back to Korea back into reality right back into teaching first grade um, and as my good friend put it it will be a great way to give my revitalized energy and inspiration and put it all into my students so that I'm looking forward to and just being alone at home because I think for the past four months I've been you know hostels constantly talking to people every day I don't think I've been alone for a day um, but I'm extremely thankful for this time it's been amazing um, I don't know my skin I just look healthier I think and just so much more alive um, yeah but the journey is not over um, tomorrow I'll be headed to Chiang Mai for three days and then one day in Bangkok before I go to Bali. So I'm looking forward to it um, and I just want to say thank you for being here and sharing my journey together because you know I love to create anything like whether it's writing or films just to inspire people and just to share the world. Um, I think the world is beautiful and there's so much to discover. I just want to, yeah, just share that with someone. Um, so let me show you this beautiful view. Hello you guys, I made it to Chiang Mai and this is the cutest hostel. It's called Lullaby Hostel and there's just um, super relaxing. Let me show you. You walk in, and then inside is super peaceful. You come over here. So I don't really have a plan for Chiang Mai. I just know that I want to find like a ethical, actual sanctuary, elephant sanctuary, and then go see some temples. But first things first, I gotta get some food. Um, yeah, I'm like kind of tired of always like making new friends and like saying goodbye and that routine I'm like my social battery is like super low but maybe I'll just spend some time today just walking around by myself and get a feel of the city all right bye <laughs> Ah! Listen. 
Lucky. Yes, I'm lucky. Elephant Sanctuary. Elephant Sanctuary in Chiang Mai. Yeah. Yes. And it is family run, yeah. family owned. There's no writing. Yeah, no, no writing, no writing. show. You oh. just observe. Yes. And yeah, it's a place to come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come to the same Elephant Sanctuary. Bye. <laughs> <Hi. laughs> <laughs> okay. You have oh. how many lighting? North Carolina going to Nashville and we met at Lullaby Hostel and today we're headed to the Chiang Rai tour where you can see the white temple blue temple and black temple and the our tour guide said we're going to stop at a hot springs and this is it everyone told me it really was the best um, I should have started here but you know you never know everyone at Hostel Lullaby was amazing it was so much fun um, the jazz bars and everything in Chiang Mai it's just like a small town but also big enough to do a lot of stuff and the elephant sanctuary boxing class in the morning and Chiang Rai was fun to everyone I met um, who made Thailand so special to me and now we're headed to Bangkok for one half of a day and then headed to Bali tomorrow where I start my 20-day yoga retreat it's going to be awesome all right bye Chiang Mai Video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is Ben from Philippines. And 